Apocalypse Gaming. Hi guys, this is the start of Project Thunderchild. I've taken Terena Hollick's advice and I've drew myself a diagram of roughly what I'm trying to achieve here. So what I'm going to do is build this airship here uh, for part of my son's Dwarven army. What we're going to have is organ guns, one, two, three, four, five, on the exterior. I'm going to put a wooden deck along the surfaces there, four propeller blades, two of which are the size of roughly a ship's propeller, two of which are the size of gyrocopter blades to power the airship. A raised decking, which should hopefully, if all things come together, accommodate a gyrocopter. That was going to be two toilet roll tubes to try and create this, the steam uh, furnaces, but it looks like actually the size I'm doing it's going to be one. A wooden decking on top, um, on this next raised platform, with the cabin accommodating the steering wheel. So a side profile of what this is going to look like is organ gun, organ gun on a pintle, organ gun again. There's the toilet roll tube, there's the steering carrier. And at the back, you can see I've just put a wee mark in to say there's going to be rails all the way around the ship. So, got my pink foam, and I've marked roughly what the outline of the ship's going to be. So, next part with this is cutting that baby out. Hey guys, so that was the plan. And this is what I've cut out of pink foam. So we've got the whole shape. Let's get the bottom carved out slightly as well to make it a more interesting profile on the bottom. So that's where Thunderchild currently be at.
Okay guys, that's all the decking onto the base plate. So I'm gonna let that dry and set off. Once that's dried and set off, I'm going to take some washes and stain this wood a bit because I don't want it looks so much like coffee stars. I want it looking like a natural wood. I'm gonna aim for an oakish sort of color. Once that's set, down. I'm going to then varnish the wood to try and act as an extra glue bond to the wood pieces because I'm going to have to take and cut all these wood pieces off and once I've cut these wood pieces off there's a good chance that some of these smaller ones which have got very little bonding could come apart so to sort that I'll be using the varnish to try and as an extra glue bond. Whilst that's setting off I've got out the oil maru and I've got myself chopped off a top of a battle standard. The top of this battle standard is going to be the sides for my organ guns. The piece is going to have five organ guns on it. I'm going to magnetise here, magnetise this side of the press mould parts and that will allow an up and down pivot. Once they're magnetised there'll be a piece, which I've not decided what it's going to be yet, along the bottom to allow pivot in that direction and pivot in this direction. I've chose this because it means I can pivot to there which will give it a great downward shot but it doesn't get as high a vertical movement. And that was on purpose. So it locks there and locks there. So with the oil maru I'm going to be taking press moulds with green stuff into this to come up with another 10 of these. Okay guys, colour I'm going to put on here for the planks is uh, Griffin Sepia. There's my tester plank, and it's giving me the sort of oak colour I'm looking for. As you can see, it's a bit darker than what I've got there, but close to the tabletop I'm working on. Um, not massively different, so that's what I'm going for. It's a sort of warm oak shade that I'm looking for. So that's going to get applied liberally. Just to stain this down. don't really need to watch me staining all of this, so I'll turn the camera off here and come back when it's all stained. Hi guys, that's my stain dried up and I have also varnished this with two coats of Humbro um, spray on varnish. It's not actually a varnish I like but I'm trying to use it up. Um, it's a very glossy texture but that glossy texture is pretty suitable for the wood decking because it'd be given a, probably a gloss varnish to help seal it. Um, so that's that dried up. Hope you like the texture and the finishes to it. Um, one issue I have had between gluing this to the foam board and varnishing it is that the edges have completely, I'll just turn this round a bit so you can see that, bent up. So I no longer have a straight board. That's not particularly visible there. Let's see if I can do it on this. There's the base that it's going to be attaching to, and as you can see, it rolls quite substantially. So that's been forced up. That's because there's been nothing on the back to keep that straightness. I can, with a little bit of pressure, well actually more than a little bit, quite a bit of pressure, flatten that back down. So once I've cut my board, going to have to get clamps and glue and then leave that sticking to this possibly for maybe 24 hours. It's not a massive issue because there's plenty of other things I can go and do with this project whilst that's setting up. So the next thing I've got to do is turn this over and cut the planks to fit the shape. Okay chaps, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to trim away all the bits that you see that are overhanging my white foam board. And what I'm going to use is the Dremel with a cutter. Unfortunately, um, I've just discovered that we've only got metal cutters and not wood cutters, but it'll still cut. Um, just have been better had it been a wood cutter. But it's the first I've done this, so I could destroy the model. Um, hope not. Should work. So here we go.
So that seems to be cutting off quite successfully. Did get a little bit overcut there. Um, that was just me being stupid. I do have the foam filler which I can stick in there. It's not ideal, but that's what's happened. So that's what I'm going to have to do to remedy the problem. But now I can go ahead and trim off the rest. But that was a nice even straight cut. So successful. I'm going to move the camera out of the way because it's a little bit in the way for doing this job and continue so I shall show you this when I've got the rest trimmed off. Okay guys not quite finished um, as you can see there's still some areas needing trimmed off um, but that's as far as I'm going to cut into those areas without risk of getting further damage to the foam base and then needing to fill that so the way I'm going to take the rest off is just slow cuts with the craft knife around these edges but overall very pleased with the result of the Dremel because it's given nice clean straight edges on there to those planks. Remember these are really only held in place with tacky glue on the bottom and then varnished on the top to try and seal the top and give A the, the effect I expect it to look like for a ship's deck and to try and hold them in place a bit stronger as well. Um, so overall quite pleased with the result. I'm going to take the craft knife, trim off these bits gently and then I'll just file or sand the edges a little bit before staining the edges and then installing. So, quite happy so far. See you in the next part again! Oh, make sure you're using some sort of protective surface. This is an old tile, but don't do it on your wife's table or you're going to cut big gouges in it. Okay guys, couple of accidents during the cutting out phase. First accident, that came away, but I can re-glue that. And next accident, I've got a little bit of my paint, or sorry, stain and wood is chipped away there. But again, I'll just stick a bit of stain in there and it'll look like a bit of natural degradation to the wood. After all, this is a battleship. But overall, seems to have cut out very well. Quite happy with my deck shape. That'll need, as I said earlier, leveled out. So I'll stick that on, sand the edges, and fill the gaps. Okay chaps, I've probably realised that most of that never actually ended up on camera because of a little bit of panic because it kept sliding but I want to put down all that glue just so that this surface never comes away from the other surface. So This I'm going to leave to set up for 24 hours. Once that's set up for 24 hours I'm going to get out the subterrain foam putty and with that I'm going to fill the gaps round where the white foam joins the pink foam, sand it back slightly, rebase coat that bit black and then that's the base of the ship ready for the assemblies to go on top, such as my organ guns, such as the steering wheel, um, there's going to be rails, it's going to be quite a bit built onto the surface of the decking, so that's where we're at at the minute, see you in the next part of the build. Apocalypse Gaming.